Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, right on the eve of a blood moon. You might be noticing that I'm at the uh, Hylia Tower. Or oh, Lake Hylia Tower. There's a good reason for that. And it's purely because I want to finish the Weapon Connoisseur quest, which I should be able to do. Because I only require four, four different weapons. I need the Wind Cleaver, um, Frost Spear, Ancient Battle Axe Plus, and then an Ancient Sword. All of which should be fairly simple to get. Uh, the reason I'm at the tower, that didn't really explain why, is purely because to get the Wind Cleaver, you can only get it from a Yiga Blade Master. And, well, from both looking up and actually testing in game, it seems they are most common at the bottom of here. Like, every single time I've looked around here, they have shown up. I should also, just as a precaution, equip this. So that the, um, Stealth host don't bother me, essentially. Okay, smokes. Where are you? Also, I kind of want to just get rid of one of my weapons. Do I have a weapon that's nearly broken? There he is. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> um, I don't have a weapon that's nearly bust. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Have I beat it yet? Uh, no. Not even close. I'm almost certain he just completely missed. Yeah, just kick the shit out of him. I win! And there's the sword. The Wind Cleaver. This sword is favoured by high-ranking members of the Giga. When wielded by a proficient fighter, its unique shape cleaves the very wind and creates a vacuum. Either way, how's it going, Terraria God Killer? Hope all is well. Uh, am I wearing... No, I'm not. Have I done Tarrytown? Uh, no. I've done part of it. I've yet to go to the bloody, uh, Hebra place, so... You know. It's what happens when you're wanting to do everything. Except for collect all the Korok seeds. Um... Yeah, I'll just fast travel. Screw it. It's night time, though. So that kid ain't gonna be awake. Oh, well. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure Tarrytown's not exactly a hard quest. It's just time-consuming, because you have to get... Well, when you first go, it's it takes a lot of bundles of wood, and then you also need to just go to each of the different areas. So, like, you need to get a Goron, a Gerudo, and then a Rito. Don't know about Azora, though. I'm assuming Azora as well, but that might be after the Rito, maybe? I don't know. But I'll get the Rito person and do more of Tarrytown when I actually make it to the Hebra or the Tabantha Frontier. Which won't be for a while. I have all of the Gerudo Highlands to do this session. Although I am, you know, finishing up the Weapon Connoisseur quest first. Right, yeah, that kid's gonna be asleep. Shoot. On the plus side, I do have a house, so I can just go and do that. Alright. Okay, so it should be Wind Cleaver. Then Frost Spear. Frost Spear, I need to go and deal with the Stalinops, which shouldn't be too bad. 10, 20, 50. Oh, that's easy. I have like 200 wood. Uh, I might need to do it until noon. I don't think the kid will be awake. Yeah, I deforested the Great Plateau many a time. I highly doubt the kid's going to be awake at this time. Maybe though. While I'm here, I might also... Oop, shit. I might also fill the compendium as much as I can. I know I said it takes the fun out of it, but... <laughs> it's so convenient. And it'll only cost me 10,000 rupees, which is nothing. Right. Question of the day. Is that kid awake? I've, I've, I've found the Goron. I'm onto the Rito. When you when I say I haven't done Tarrytown, I mean I've not completed it. I've done parts of it. I found the Goron and the Gerudo. My next step is to find the Rito. Yeah, the kids aren't awake. Son of a bitch. I should have just gone till noon. Fuck. I'm just gonna go to the inn. Why not? I'm not gonna say it, the sheath for this weapon looks real weird. Good morning! I wanna sleep until noon. 
There we go. Wake me up in six hours. I mean, I'm not going to be going to the Tabantha Frontier, so it's pointless telling me that. Plus, I don't need to know. It's quite obvious. You just find a person that has the name Sun. Or that has the word Sun in the name. Did you sleep well? Of course I did. Righty-ho. Now the kid should be awake. I'm running around. There we go. I don't know if you're the one. You're the girl. You aren't it. It's... you, maybe? It's not you either. Shoot. You talking to me? I thought you were one of the boys playing spies. You gotta listen to this anyway. There's a girl staying up at the... oh. Yes, 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 yes. I should really just... turn that quest as my active one. Then it'll tell me where he is. Of course. Nice. And boom. Wind cleaver. Oh, shit. There you go, Neb. Mm hmm. Oh! Isn't that the wind cleaver? Nice, nice. Let me see, let me see. Go ahead. Right, so now... I can actually just use this weapon to kill the Stallionox. Whoa, looks strong. Thanks, here's a token of my thanks. A hundred rupees. That was from my grandpa. He's, he always said, give it to the one who can show you the real deal. So don't worry about it. Alright, next. Grandpa said he wanted to see... What was it again? Um, I remember now. Alright. You ever heard... Oh! Oh, it's the Ancient Battle Plus. Oh, Ancient Battle Axe Plus. Then the Frost Spear. Then the Ancient... Sword. Oh, whoops. <laughs> so, have you ever heard of an Ancient Battle Axe Plus? Grandpa said you can't find those around here. If you get a hold of one, let me see it. I can't remember which shrine it's in. Shoot. It's in a modest. Modest test of strength, and I know it's on the right-hand side. No. Oh, wait, is it this one? There it is. I think. Yeah, I went to all of the different test of strength shrines off screen. But then I reloaded my save. I could not find it. I went into one and they had a spear. I was like, yeah, that's not right. <laughs> and then I went to another one where it was a Guardian Scout Mark IV, which had a Guardian Axe plus plus, or Ancient Battle Axe plus plus. But I'm pretty sure it's this one. I know it's in a modest test of strength. And I can use the wind cleaver to kick its ass. Alright, down we go. Easy enough. Yeah, so it must be the frost spear next. Oh yeah, it is. Oops. <laughs> I just thought it was the frost spear, then the ancient battle axe. Oh, well, never mind. The frost spear shouldn't be too bad. I just have to deal with a Stallionox. What is the time of day? 12.30. Oh, it's noon. Shoot. Should have probably gone and got that first. Oh well, never mind. Pretty much. That's... That looks like a really good one. Oh, bloody hell. This is only a minor, right? Oh boy. Whew. I don't know. Alright, I'll take it. Oh, oh, oh! Oh dear. Whoop. Jesus. It's very delayed. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't want to backflip! Oh, I hate the camera angle sometimes. Yeah, I just wish the camera was behind me and not at an angle. Oh, you're doing that? Oh. Oh, bloody hell. Woo! Oh. <laughs> uh... oh, shit. There we go. Sheesh. I need a way for my stamina to recover. <sighs> Is it gonna do the blue? Blue? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was gonna do a spin. Whoops. Hey, I win. Oh, there. That is it. Oh, alright. Perfect. Phew. Alright, well, I don't want this anymore. Oh. I suppose I could take a picture of it. I mean, if I'm gonna take a picture, I might as well have it on me. Uh, right. So, whoa. So, portrait. Oh. That'll do. Perfect. Right, now I can get rid of it. Alright. Ancient Balax. 
Boom, perfect. Right back to Hatino. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just do it in order. I was going to go and get a, an ancient sharp sword, but it'll just take up a, a slot of my inventory. I'm pretty sure that's one I have to buy anyway. Ugh, but I've had the weapon connoisseur for a very long time. Mostly because you kind of get stuck on the duplex bow until you do Gerudo Desert, because you don't have access to the Yiga. At least I don't think you have access to Yiga that wield the duplex bow until you do the Yiga, the Yiga clan hideout. The kid is so needy. <laughs> so, hey mister, can you go, like, travel around the world and show me everything? Yeah, sure. But as I say, it's not really a hard quest to complete. It's just you get stuck on the duplex bow one for a while. Hey! Hmm? How would you know this is the ancient battle axe? The axe doesn't even come out. Isn't that an ancient battle axe plus? Nice, nice. Let me see, let me see. Go ahead. Look at it. And all its majesty. Whoa, looks strong. Thanks, here's a token of my thanks. Another silver rupee. No worries. My gramps told me to give it to the person that teaches you how to fight. Close enough. He's saying the same stuff, I just realised. Gramps said he wanted to see what was it again. I remember now. It's a frost spear. So when my grandpa was young, he looked for it but couldn't find it. So please, if you find it, please let me see it. You got it, buddy. Right, frost, frost spear it is. Downside to this is I'll have to wait until night time. Uh, because whereabouts is it? Oh, it's down there. In Halfin Valley. I'll just put down a camp. Yeah, and I just rest all night time. Actually, I might want to do it on the tower, or near the tower. Because if I'm too close, it won't spawn, and so I'd have to leave and then come back. Because I think as soon as it's night time, it spawns. It's just whether or not you're in its proximity or not. If you're in the proximity, it won't... I guess it won't um, come alive. Anyway. Now, I've wanted to finish this quest for a long time. It's just never really had the chance. I see Varmeadow! Flying about in the distance. Okay, bundle of wood and some flint. Where's... Oh yeah, and I've got, I can also get the Radiant set from uh, Gerudo Town. While I remember. But I need to go back to Gerudo Town anyway. Up. Uh, that won't work because it's not a steel weapon. That'll work. Boom, perfect. Say it until night time. Perfect. Do do do. Oh man. It's quite weird seeing the map be so barren. <laughs> From all the shit I've managed to pick up. What could I cook? Could actually make a few more forest stars. Yeah, I think I will. What do I make? Big hearty radish. Sure. Boom. Very nice. Yay! So it's literally just fly south. Yep. Oh, I can see it from here. Hot damn. I don't see the bridge. Oh wait, yeah I do. It's directly ahead. Right, I think where I want to be is over here. Well, let's hope the Stalinox is uh, awake. And ready to rumble. I'll just use the battle axe to kill it. Me as well. I'm going to get rid of it anyway for the Frost Spear. And our survey says he's... awake? Alive? There he is! My friend! Oh, he's wandering. Oh, he's wandering. Are we on the move? Oh no, my bow's badly damaged. Oh, crap. Oh shoot! Ah, fuck it. I might be able to break this. Oh yeah, crap. I completely forgot how this thing attacks. I don't have a bow! Bollocks! I was about to say, why am I not equipping my bows? Uh, sure, golden bow. Nice! I really hope this one still has the frost spear. Oh dear. Oh! <laughs> Wait, can I...? 
Oh, it didn't even... It didn't stasis the eyeball. Oh, there we go. I broke the boomerang. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, he picked up a tree. I missed. Oh, you smart fucker. Haha! You're screwed! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Completely forgot how you killed this thing. I win. I don't need to get rid of the ancient battle axe. How good is it? 45. Eh, it's not terrible. May as well actually use it for this. Up. Oh. Yeah! May as well get some wood while I'm here. Why not? Whoops. <laughs> nice. Frost spear. Boom. Perfect. We done. So he knocks tooth. Uh, hmm. I mean, I'm gonna have to wait again. So yeah, I'll just I'll just do it. Whatever. I was gonna go to the the tech lab to get the short sword, but I'll just do that after I've showed him shown him the frost spear. Cause then I can get rid of it. Strafing. If you want to move side to side without changing the direction you're facing, try moving sideways while pressing ZL. You got a game. I still don't actually know if I'm correct with how many hearts I'm going to end up with. I think it's going to be 26 and 3 stamina wheels. I believe so. Although I could actually make that, like, 2 stamina wheels and a fifth and 30 hearts, but I think I'll be quite happy with uh, 26, to be honest. It's more than enough. When most things only seem to do like a quarter or half a heart of damage. I could actually rest here. Sit by the fire until noon. Shit. Completely forgot that this one's constantly lit. Where did those two go to? Yeah, Bolson and the other guy. Carson. Carson? Yeah, Carson. Oh, okay, I got both of the names right. I don't know where they where they disappear to. Either way, <laughs> Neb, I have a gift. I should probably equip it. Alrighty. Hot damn. Is that the frost spear? It is indeed. Hot damn! I'm gonna be glad when this quest's over. Jesus. Such a lengthy one. Wow, so awesome! So cool! Gramps will flip when he hears, his, hears I saw this. Thanks, there's a token of my thanks. A gold ruby? Hot damn! Don't be so modest. I got it from my grandpa, so think of it as a thank you from him. Alright, next. Grandpa said he wanted to see, what was it again? An ancient short sword. Seen it in books, but never in real life before. If you find it, please let me see it. I'm almost certain. Well, there goes the frost spear. If you run, Neb, you might catch it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Ancient Short Sword's only available from Robbie's Tech Lab. And you have to make it with a... Uh, can't remember if it requires calls or not. I know it requires money. <laughs> which is great. To be honest, all of the Ancient stuff's pretty damn good. Yeah, because, I mean, as I said in the previous session, it's what I was going to base my mod off of. If I was able to actually do that. Still kind of bummed. Oh, no worries. Thanks for stopping by. It's appreciated. And, uh, you have a good day too. Zzz. Hey, hey, beep. Familiar name missing. Ancient, ancient, aha! It is the ancient short sword, right? <laughs> ancient short sword, yeah, it is. Okay, so I need. Oh. Ten ancient. Oh no, two ancient cars. The most impressive thing out of all these, though, is the shield. 70! I may actually spend a bit more money to get some more ancient arrows, too. I'll try and get up to 50. Yeah, we'll see. Either way, I want the ancient short sword. Make the exchange. <laughs> Boo -doo -doo -doo. So I'm at 20. I'm at 33. So that's 38. I'm just going to get up to 50. I think that will be more than enough. One more. 
And I just want to buy two of these. I kind of wish it would just allow you to choose one and then say how many do you want to make. Oh, whatever. God, you, I've got so many ancient screws. There we go. 50. Alright, now we can go back to Hedina Village and finish this godforsaken quest. Ah. <sighs> Took long enough, but I'm glad it's over. To be fair, I've, I've still got quests that I got a while ago. So, like, um, go, what was the stable? Eastland, I think? Dueling Peaks. <laughs> I was way off. Yeah, the Dueling Peaks stable. Um, you get, like, three quests from there. I th Wait, it's not Dueling Peaks. No, it's the one with the Royal Guard outfits, and then, um, it might have been the Eastland. Riverside. Okay, it would have been the Riverside stable, if any. Because that was the first stable I came across. And that is actually close to Hyrule Castle, so that would make sense for them to be there, or for them to be there. Regardless, not like it matters. Alright, Neb. I finished! Oh, shoot. Is that the Ancient Shot Sword? So cool, let me see! There we go. This is actually the first time we've seen it ourselves. Don't look much different than a Guardian, to be honest. Wow, it's the real thing. I've got to tell Gramps about this one. Wow, I saw one just like in that book. Thanks for letting me see. Take this as a thank you. A diamond? Of course. Everybody rewards you with diamonds. That was from my grandpa. He always says, give it to the one who can show you the real deal. It's just showing me so many things. I'm sure my grandpa is super happy. Wherever he is. Bye! Wow. To be honest, that wasn't a bad quest to do. Gives you a... You know, a pretty good source of money. Well, kinda. You want to get eight rewards. Wait, I'm just trying to I'm trying to calculate how much it is. I know for the first couple, you want to get twenty rubies. You probably make about seven hundred or so. To to be fair, that's not really that much. Eh, it's you know, it's 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 an amount. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Right, so I can cross that off. Where did I fast travel to? Did I go to the tech lab? Yeah, I did. <laughs> My mind is not with me today, apparently. I'm just forgetting everything that I'm doing. Oh yeah, I should actually talk to Pura because she she has some some text. Impa is you may already know this, but although Impa looks a lot older than me, she's actually my little sister. She's incredibly responsible, but at what cost? She's wound up way too tight. If you ask me, love her though. That's crazy. Huh. People have always noted how we're nothing alike, even though we're sisters. I'm the type that charges ahead once I'm inspired, Impa prefers to wait and see, but mostly wait and wait and wait. In any case, this research facility was founded by by order of some Hyrule Castle bigwigs. Despite her frail appearance, Impa was a valued and distinguished advisor to the royals at Hyrule Castle. You see where I'm going with this, I assume? Basically, she's the one who puts a stomp to some of my crazier antics. And that's the story of me and my little sis Impa. I never knew. But with Hyrule Castle in the state it is... Well, needless to say, there hasn't been any funding in a while. No funding means no fun. I've already exhausted my personal funds, barely allow allowing us to continue my research. If only we had a few hundred million rupees, I could do more research on new items. Anything else you want to ask me? Nope. Alright, Robbie. I want to buy some shit. Yeah. Yeah. What do you need? I need a picture. These are the pictures you can currently add. Yeah, there you go. So, 3,900... 1,700, 6,600, and 800. It's not really that much. It's probably just over 10k. Oh yeah, definitely. 10,500, 11, oh no. 12,200. Oh. 13k. Well, I'd like them all. Wanna buy all of the fauna pictures? Sure. Thanks, my dude. Hyrule Contendium updated. Thank you for supporting our research. Okay, enemy pictures. There is... I think it's just the enemy ones that you can't finish. Purely because of DLC, and also endgame stuff. You can't buy the Blight enemies until you finish the game. Or until you beat Ganon. It's kind of shitty, really. They should become available once you've beaten them, but never mind. Okay. And material. I can't believe the weapon ones are the ones I'm missing the most of. <laughs> then again, that's not just swords. Weapon 
What falls under the weapon category is swords. Well, anything you hold in your hand, the bows, and then the shields. So it's it's a very wide variety. I'd like them all. Hot damn. My rupee wallet is uh, feeling a lot lighter. There it is. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out which ones are the ones that I got from this. Probably the ones that I just thrown on the ground. And now he should say, Huh? I thought I could still add a picture, but it looks like I can't right now. I have a feeling some options are still hidden, but I'm not sure what can be done to make them appear. Finishing the game. Basically. Even though freeing all the Divine Beasts. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. So if I now go to my album, my compendium, I should say, and then all the way to here. So, oh, 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 Snow Fox. Snow Coat Fox. To be fair, buying the pictures, they look a lot better than ones I would ever be able to take. Oh, yeah, the fish, of course. It's also just, I don't know, I know I said it takes the fun out of it by doing this, but at the same time, it's more useful to do it this way. Although if you buy a pitch, you can't actually decide what it is you get, it's just random chance, I think. Unless you buy all of them. But yeah, if we go to the monsters, you'll notice there's one missing there. Which, for some reason, we can't get. I'm not entirely sure why that is. There's Alpho's Stal Moblin. I wonder if it's a Stal he knocks. No, because that's there. Or Stal knocks. Hmm. I don't know what that one is. That's your Black Moblin. Your Stal Moblin. It's not your Stal Lizolfos. Ice? Blue. No, Ice is there. Fire Breath. Electric. Silver. Lionel. Blue Maned. Really? Oh yeah, yeah it is. It just, from that picture, it looks red. Now you got your White Maned and then your Silvers. Ah. Yeah, and as you can see, there's more. What is that? Oh, Yiga Blade Master. Then we have the X, the X, and the X. There ain't many, though. I'll be honest. Oh, that was one I actually took off screen. I just saw Feroge come out of the water and I was like, ah, I'll take a picture. Yeah, so we're basically missing, like, maybe ten pictures. But everything else is finished. It's just the enemies that we're missing some of. Hmm. Unless more become available once you've defeated more Divine Beasts. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Either way. Right, we, we finished that quest. I can now go back to Bidness. Now I just want to go here first. Just to buy some stuff. Essentially, I just want to buy the Radiant set. Even though I do, I stand by the fact it looks like a gimp suit. It looks really weird. Mm-hmm. But I do think you can actually upgrade it. Hmm. Even though it is a special set. In terms of upgrading, I don't really know how much of it I'm going to be doing. Like, I want to, but at the same time. It requires so many materials, and I already have the DLC armor, which is already overpowered. So I could just stick with the DLC armor, and I'm, you know, just dandy. I mean, to be fair, that's what I've been doing for most of the game anyway. Yeah, just sticking with the DLC stuff. Um, I really should sort these out. There we go. Where is it? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, to the Super Secret Club. <laughs> and then we can start making our way to the Gerudo Highlands. I don't know if I want to talk to Cass first or not. Oh wait, I will. Actually, yes I will. Because I think I need it to be about 3pm. So I need to be quick. Ah. Radiant shirt. Sure. The shirt is all at the Gerudo Secret Club. It glows with a strange pattern in the dark due to a dye made from crushed luminous stones. <laughs> oh. Why were you stuck for me? I don't understand that. Makes no sense. Cool. Oh. Recommend pairing it with the other clothing. So if I actually put them all together, will it will it do anything? Hmm. Oh, okay, that's a gimp suit. <laughs> Don't care what anybody says, that is a gimp suit. Oh, right. Um. Cool. 
I am the proud owner of a gimp suit. Oh, it looks pretty badass though. <laughs> For a gimp suit. Oh my. No, no, the, the way this shrine works is essentially... It's the same as the one on the... On the icy mountain. It has to be a certain time of day. And you have to stand on the platform. Uh, at least I think that's what this one is. I could be mixing it up with a different one. No, it's, it's called Sign of the Shadow, so... It certainly is the one I'm thinking of. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. Um... What do I want to dress as? There we go, perfect. Alright, Cass. What if... No, but then... Hmm? The only downside is time.